Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates, and we are starting with a physique update of Rafael Brandau at 10 weeks out of the Arnold Classic, and I think it's pretty safe to say that he did make some solid progress in his off-season. I think the progress is basically visible everywhere. His arms do look a lot bigger, his lats are definitely popping more. It's interesting that his waist didn't grow at all, it's still very small, and the chest also looks thicker in the front double here. In case you forgot what his level of muscularity was before, here is a photo of Rafael Brandao a couple of days before the Arnold Classic Brazil last year. Yeah, this one is a couple of days out and the previous photo is 10 weeks out, so there is a big difference, but I think you can still see the difference in muscularity, like especially in the arms and also the chest. Like chest seems much flatter here, the lats were not popping the way they are now, and we can't see the legs right now in this photo, but I'm betting the legs are also much, much bigger. Taking time off from competing and switching coaches, working with Neil Hill, I think it was a smart move, and I think it's pretty visible that it paid off. Also, I don't know for a fact, but I assume he went off of everything maybe a few months before he started the prep. Again, nobody told me this, but I think it was pretty obvious that this is what happened, because he was posting his full-blown off-season photos, and he looked humongous. He looked bigger and fuller than ever, it was crazy. And then recently he posted a couple of photos when he started the prep, and he didn't look that impressive, he looked smaller, flatter, also not very lean, so I'm guessing that's what happened. And I'm saying this because he just started the prep. So yeah, he's gonna lose weight as he diets down, but also I think he's gonna just get fuller and harder as the gear keeps kicking in, I think he's gonna look super, super impressive, so I'm wondering where is he gonna place at the Arnold Classic? We all know top 2 is gonna be Hadi Chopin and Samson Dauda, and then it's probably gonna be a battle between Andrew Jack and Rubiel Mosquera, but as far as the 5th spot, you know, who's gonna round up that top 5, I don't know, is it gonna be James Hollinshed, Horse MD, I mean Rafael Brandau, I think he probably has the biggest chances, you know, based on the improvements, based on the fact that he placed 10th at the Mr. Olympia in 2022, you know, based on stats, and based on the track record, he always gets really conditioned, and with all this muscle added, without sacrificing the waist size, with his shape, with his aesthetics, with his proportions, man, this guy is gonna be dangerous, especially at the Arnold Classic, maybe he's gonna place even higher than top 5. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below, but I think uh, Rafael Brandau is gonna do some serious damage at that show, I think he's gonna be insane, really. Alright, next up we got a physique update of Justin Rodriguez, another Arnold Classic competitor, and he is 10 weeks out as well, but he doesn't look like he is 10 weeks out, he actually looks much better than that, he's already in really good conditioning, I mean, I would assume that this is an older photo, but he says he's 10 weeks out. I mean, to me, he looks like he doesn't need much more work. I know this lighting here is really flattering, but still, I mean, you can see the conditioning, you can see the thinness of the skin, the hardness. He looks like he's pretty much, you know, ready. Like, I won't even say he's two weeks out. He's, if you ask me, he's in his usual condition. Now, this is very common, let's say, with Justin Rodriguez. He always tends to look really good on Instagram photos and on the stage he's usually, he's very often off, and I think with him, it's always the last week that matters, I think he's always, he always messes up the peak week somehow, you know, he looks amazing one day out or two days out, and then on the stage, you see him looking completely off, you know, very, very watery usually, definitely not as good as on his Instagram photos, and I'm not saying that he's editing photos or that he's finding a perfect lighting and stuff like that, I actually think it's a peak week mistake because, you know, sometimes you see him in one show, he looks amazing, he looks shredded, and in the next show, he looks completely off. Usually he's off at the first show and then he fixes it. But also, other than that, you know, aside from conditioning and dryness and stuff like that, I think he has, you know, some injuries and some issues with his physique. I mean, his most muscular is really good because he's hiding his midsection that is not looking very good. I think he injected a ton of stuff in his quads, and I think in his arms as well. He has a great back, and he's really massive, and can get like really full, really hard as well. 
but in some front poses like front double front lat absent eyes you can see like a lot of flaws so even though he looks super impressive right here i think he's probably gonna be in the last call out at the Arnold classic but is he gonna place that last i don't think so i think it's either gonna be the guy that turned pro at the Arnold classic amateur last year or this guy right here akim williams i think akim williams is pretty much done I don't think he's gonna come back from this. You guys probably know that he recently had a shoulder surgery and I think he only started training maybe two months ago, max, probably less. And he's already prepping for the Arnold Classic. I mean, I don't know if maybe he has some kind of crazy muscle memory and he knows it, like Kevin Levroni, for example, who would lose all of his gains and then come back in four months and look even better than ever before. Maybe Akeem Williams has that ace up his sleeve, but I don't know. I don't think he knows that. I don't think he ever had to do something like this. I mean, this is him right now, and, you know, he looks okay, he looks decent, but the other guys are looking much better at 10 weeks out. And Akeem Williams was... I believe 6th at the Mr. Olympia at one point, so he is a phenomenal bodybuilder, he can do so much, but can he make it in 10 weeks and battle against all these amazing guys? I just don't know, I, I really don't know, I don't think so. So this is the photo right now, at 10 weeks out, check him out a month and a half ago, this was like mid-November, so at this point he was like, I don't know, an average gym goer, he didn't look like somebody who is 6th at the Mr. Olympia, so in only a month and a half he came to this, so maybe in 10 weeks he's gonna make a lot more progress. I'm assuming that he was off of everything while he was recovering from that surgery, so now that he's back on the juice, maybe he's gonna blow up better than ever before, maybe his receptors are fresh now or something like that, something that happened to Kevin Levroni, and maybe we're gonna see the best version of Akeem Williams ever. But I wouldn't bet on that. I wouldn't bet on Akeem Williams. I think this guy is also going to be in that last call out unless he makes some kind of crazy transformation, which is not impossible. If he does that, if he pulls that off, that would be amazing. I would love to see that. But yeah, right now, I don't think Akeem Williams is going to do that well. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. All right, next up, we got a non Arnold Classic competitor. It's Kion Pearson, your 212 Mr. Olympia champion with a physique update, with his off-season progress update, so he says, uh, second week of the off-season, morning weight 222, striving for more solid progress, and as you guys know, Kian Pearson is working with Patrick Tour, and I talked to Patrick about this, they actually took some time off, you know, after the Mr. Olympia, he wasn't really doing that, uh, that post-show rebound phase, you know, he didn't force things after the show, he took some time to relax, to recover, and apparently his off-season started now, actually two weeks ago, so as you can see, his conditioning is not very good compared to what it looked like at the Mr. Olympia, you know, compared to, for example, somebody like Nick Walker, who is basically in the same condition right now as he was at the Mr. Olympia, probably guys like Samson or Hardy as well, Keon, you know, he got a lot softer, we have a video, we're gonna check it out, but yeah, basically, I mean, he's not competing anytime soon, he's gonna be defending his Mr. Olympia title next year, and that's all he needs to worry about, you know, recovering and being able to make progress in a long off season, because he doesn't need to do any shows this year, finally, he doesn't need to qualify for the Mr. Olympia, he needs to defend the title, so this is gonna be probably a really good year for Keon Pearson, once again, not as sharp, not as dry and as hard as some of the competitors who are doing the Arnold Classic or Nick Walker, who is not doing the Arnold Classic apparently, but he's staying shredded because he never went off, he's still probably blasting, trying to make progress while staying super shredded, and Keon is doing it the smart way, again, I talked to Patrick Tour about this, and you know, he had a health phase, right after the Mr. Olympia, they went off, I mean, they came off, and he recovered his body, obviously, but also, I think, his mind as well. He probably took his mind off of bodybuilding a little bit for, like, the last two months. So now he's fresh mentally and physically, and he's ready to push the off-season and actually make progress. Because he was under the weight cap, he can still make a lot more progress and stay within the limits of uh, 212. 
and here is him right now once again you know not super super impressive because he just started the off season but in a couple of weeks guys in like six to eight weeks he's gonna look full blown and uh, yeah you can see the conditioning is good like you can still see the glute separation but you know he just lost that hardness that comes from you know androgens so yeah Keon is doing it the smart way and yeah i'm pretty sure this guy is gonna make a lot of progress because for the past couple of years ever since he started co competing in 212 olympia like he made a lot of progress every single year he he progressed a lot and i'm expecting more this year and if he does that if he makes more progress i don't see him losing the title as long as he brings good conditioning decent conditioning not super shredded conditioning he wasn't super shredded he was just lean enough but with his shape with his muscle bellies with his symmetry proportions you name it who's gonna beat him i mean realistically the only guy that could challenge him would be sean clarida but sean clarida was really on at this year's mr olympian he still lost so what can he do I mean, maybe he can you know push things and grow because he also has a lot of room in the in the 212 so he can like add another i don't know like 20 pounds of muscle so if he does that then he can beat uh, keon probably but is that gonna happen at this point no no i don't think so i think keon is gonna be able to stay at the top for a very long time until he switches to the open i guess Whatever you guys think though, tell me in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to help me reach the 50k subscribers, again, subscribe guys. And uh, if you want to buy old school lab supplements and you want to use the code EVAN, you get a 15% discount and you help me out as well. Thank you guys so much. See you soon. All the best and bye bye.